So now let's first quickly talk about hot pricing or HP. It's application of static uniaxle along one line. Um, compression, compressive stress during sintering using a die. Using a die. This kind of illustrates the schematic. Uh, the sample is in the center, and then you have the die, the surrounding wall, and uh, the so called uh, top and bottom plunge. You can also call that part of the die plunge. And you, of course, you would have outside thermal insulation, and uh, within the thermal insulation, you should have heating elements to provide the heat. And uh, you have RAM, which is essentially during the century, the part is getting small, getting shorter and shorter. The the RAM is the moving part that continuously apply the force or apply the stress hydraulic ram actuator system right this of course it can be uh, computer controlled the benefit it enhance densification which means you apply heat to repel the centering but at the same time you apply compressive stress of course it would help to squeeze out the porosity help the sample densify further. But what are the disadvantages? Very obviously, more complicated, right? Much more complicated. Com comparing with just place the sample into a box oven, box furnace, or a tube furnace. And the higher cost, okay? The tooling, the atmosphere, and sometimes you may also generate anisotropy because you are applying pressure only in one direction anisotropy which means not the same around different direction because you are applying pressure in only in one direction okay dye material most cases the cheapest dye people use would be graphite very easy very convenient to shape okay but uh, which means your pressure can be applied through a graphite is not very high, only roughly 40 megapascal. Graphite is not a very strong material, okay? And uh, if you are talking about uh, your dye exposed to air, the inside temperature not higher than 1200. Outside would be cooler. Outside is not 1200. Inside, I'm talking about inside is 1200. Outside probably is 500 or even lower, okay? And uh, of course, if you want to be more sophisticated, you can go to other dye materials such as silicon carbide or other material. You can implement atmosphere control, right? I can try to put, build a chamber that have inert gas so that I can go to higher temperature. Make sense? Okay. Of course, you can use higher pressure if I'm not using graphite. But all of these further adds complexity and cost. Okay. And the process variable, of course, other than temperature and time, we would have the pressure as one of the um, variables, isothermal temperature.